All right, what do we got today? I got a real, really nice 90s lawnmower. Oh, this thing's cute as heck. Yeah, it's like the smallest one ever. But that, <laughs> that's perfect for your yard, Connor. Yeah, perfect, I'm just hoping it'll climb my hills. When's the last time it was run? I don't know. Well, it wasn't run much, because look at it. Looks like new. No, it's really nice. I it mean, looks like new. It's mint. Check this out. That's from the plastic that covered the seat when the guy got it. All right, so we got to get this thing running. What's the oil look like? That's what we always look at. Oh, it turns. That's a, that's a plus. <laughs> First thing you check, dipstick. Dipstick, clean as a whistle. Not even any smudge on the bottom. Do we want to change it? No, not yet. Let's get it running first. Air cleaner's rodent free. Rodent free, that's a plus. That's pretty cool. I'll put that right back there. Okay, I think we ought to see what kind of gas is in it before we start pumping it and pulling it up into the carburetor. So, I guess we need our little hose. Let's siphon I can tell you want to. There's no gas in it, is it? I don't know, I doubt it. Well, pull that off just to make sure, because we don't want to suck up junk no, off right. the bottom. So what do you need, a plier? I might be able to get it by hand. Oh, you are pretty manly. Ow, my finger. Oh, no. No, let me get a plier. <laughs> Save your sarcasm. Yes, I don't see a reason not to drain this. Oh, he's Mr. Drain the fuel out of everything, guys. Well, come now. on. It's going to suck. The gas in there is going to be 12 years old. I'm, I'm going to guess that just like the Mustang that was in the same garage, this has got non-ethanol gas in it. Mayhap. Well, come on, I'm waiting. <laughs> We're waiting. Spalding. Come on, brother. Nothing, honey. Well, I gotta turn the valve on. Oop, look, see? You get all that. Wow. Don't look bad, really. Mmm, it even smells gassy. How's it taste? I don't taste gas. Since when? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think was, I was that a, it? I think I was about 10 years old trying to siphon something. <laughs> and ever since then, I've just had an aversion to drinking gasoline. Oh, it's just gasoline. Yeah. So exciting. I love starting stuff. Check this out, YouTube. It's called a valve. That's pretty clever, Connor. Right? Wow. Oh, done. <laughs> Not back. Done. Okay, we get it. The valve's clever, all right? Yeah. You know, put a little in the carb. If you put just a smidge in that carb, it's going to fire at a first pull. Perfect. It is just a little nine horse, you know. Not like the Cadillac where you had to dump a half a gallon down the carburetor to get it to start. Exciting. Okay. Exciting. I'm really hoping to never have to push mow again. That'd be good. At least most of the yard. Yeah. Oh, no, that'd be good. One. Where's the choke? Oh. All the way forward is the choke. Why do you think it's smoky? Maybe it'll go away. Because we tipped it for one. Yeah, we did tip it up quite a bit. When we loaded on the truck, we had a tip way back. Yeah. Pour gas down the carb? I guess. I don't know why it's not pulling gas in the carburetor yet. Hmm. What's with the not staying running thing? Well, this is uneventful. Or eh, it's par for the course, I think. Uninspiring. Well, we might have to actually think a little on this one. Yeah, Put a little more gas down the carb. Gas on the carb. Yeah, it may just have to prime up. You might have to do the carburetor. That's a lot of gas. Most that of it, I, that most I get it didn't started. go down the carburetor. Most of it's sitting in a little well. Good. It'll run a little longer. Yep. Maybe that'll pull it up. I don't want to do the carburetor today. 
I know. You just Why want it to start and run. Magically work, put air in the tires, and go mow my lawn. Mm hmm. Key on. So, that smells bad. What smells bad? Like the exhaust smells like dead gas. Yeah, probably still dead gas in it. I think we got to take the bowl off the bottom of the carburetor. I think that's where we're at. Yeah, let's turn this little gas valve off. It's going to make it easy to service the carburetor, let me tell you. Well, this is back before ethanol. Yeah. And everybody knew that carburetors needed servicing every day. I don't want to bend anything yet, but I'm getting tempted. <laughs> What is going on, Con? Make it not new anymore. Loosen that up. That'll lift up out of the way. Ah, oh, man. They really don't want you taking this apart. You ain't okay. putting that back in either, are you? Here it comes. No. You've had enough of it. He's bending stuff now. Great. <laughs> oh, man. That looks better. Oh, I feel bad about that. Uh, yeah. Three eights? No, it's working. Ten's working. Metric ten, huh? It's working. Ooh, that's old varnishy that's old stuff. old varnish gas. You know what's going to happen? It's going to run. Turn the thing on, let it flush them out, put that bolt back on, and it'll run again. Now you got fresh gas, see it? I see it, I see it. Can you see? Oh, wow. I don't know if I needed you to tell me that one, but yeah. You needed it. You needed me to tell you. Okay, let's get it started, and then I'm reassembling it. I'm putting it back the way it should be. Whatever. Oh, got a good close-up of your arm hairs. What's left of them? <laughs> After my last run-in with gasoline. <laughs> well, let's see if it. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if it starts. Then you can put things back together. It's gonna start and run perfect now. You watch. You think so? Oh yeah. Wouldn't run. On it. It's not gonna stink. Wouldn't run on it. Okay. Okay. I could be wrong. <laughs> did I not turn? I did turn it back on. You did. Okay, let's take it off again. Guess we take it off and take a look in it now, huh? Yep. But we know the flow is working because it was running gas out. Got to be some crud in that little jet right there, I would guess. Well, the gas didn't look bad that came out of it. It's just not the way crud works. What's that look like? Ooh, yeah. Grime slime. I got carburetor cleaner. I say you spray everything out and then put that back together and then try it again. Yeah, that's what I say. Surprisingly enough, that's what I was going to suggest. <laughs> Okay, going back together. Going back together. So you sprayed out the inside of the carburetor. Ooh, this is what we really got to check, too. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tar. Oh, that's it. It's tar. Tar. It's, it's like tar? It's varnishy tar. That gas has been there for ever. Wow. I thought it comes in the side. Oh, right here is the hole, Connor. Yeah, this goes up through there. And you clean that, so this right? this just plugs it. That's just the plug. But this that was all, that tar was up in the bottom of the carb then. Yeah, and when I sprayed it out, a lot, a of, lot of junk, a came, lot out. Of junk came out. So, we're ready to put this back together then, right? I'm waiting. What? Yeah, I know, my patience ain't the best patience, sometimes. Patience, man. Patience. Well, it's hot out here. Okay. Now will it just run perfectly like I want it to instantly? <laughs> of course. Well, nothing runs like a deer, you know, mm. once they're running. What about a gazelle? Flipper switch. Oh, I just went to low battery mode. Doing this all on my iPhone 6S. Wow, that's pretty high tech. I know. Start this thing up. We're drip free. <laughs> Is 
still smells like stuff. The whole carb might be coming on. Yeah, it's starting to look, look that way. Let's I'll give it another whirl, see what happens. Fair enough. Looks like we got a little smoke. All right, so you got to keep choking it all yeah, the time. It was only running on choke. And it smokes terrible. Yep. But it's got a funky smell. It smells like varnish. Yeah, I, I don't know what that smell is. It's not old motor oil smell. No, it's not. It's not that motor oil smell. It's could there still be old gas in this system somehow? <sighs> Let's see how. Okay, and you have to keep choking it to run it. Yes, as soon as I get off the choke, it, it dies. Okay. Carbs gotta come off, Connor. I think you're correct. You gotta be cleaned up. And part of the choking, that choking creates a little more vacuum where you might be sucking up you the might oil. Be sucking oil, but it doesn't smell like oil. No, it doesn't. Plus, it's a pretty new, fresh machine, so I don't think it would suck that much. Yeah, I don't think it's like bad rings it's or something. It's not like all our old junk that we used to mow with. So, Kyan, you got the carburetor off. You see any smoking guns? Yeah, it's dirty as I'll get out. Uh, okay. It's a really neat little carburetor. It's got a removable jet, right? Yep. -er. Which screws into this air bleed type scenario. Ooh, is that all dirted up? It's all dirty. Okay. You know? So, that dirt and grime. What a neat little setup. And that all threads into this... Uh, into this big stem of the carburetor that goes down yeah. into the bowl. Yep. And, and that's, that's there's the actually pickup. There's one more brass piece that I think I might try and get. I just gotta get the like the perfect screwdriver. Uh, this was barely. Where's that? The perfect screwdriver? No, no, the perf the other brass piece you're talking it's about. It's down in that stem. This this air bleed flows, goes right down into it. So it's a good thing I took that out. Oh, I know, I tried to talk you out of it. I know, but I, even I sprayed quite a bit of cleaner in there it just didn't do it there's some green algae yeah. looking mess green there. algae it's oh, pretty God. disgusting now the tip on that float needle looks crappy it does yeah I think it. this was working I don't think flooding was our problem no no fuel was our problem so right I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean that up and, and use that again okay so you're gonna go get parts and uh, see whether you're I'm, I'll let you do my Rochester or not get that thing back on there finally finally get I know quick that wasn't that long. You had to make a gasket though, that took time. It's really cool that it's removable on this carburetor. This is a nice little carburetor for a lawnmower. Yeah. You know, a lot of time that stuff's just cast in. And yep. You gotta take a wire, you gotta fish it all out. Throw it away, buy a new carburetor. That too. <laughs> what do you think, Connor? You gonna be a hero? Well, okay, I had to make a gasket. Yes. And I've even got punches. So I'm not like, terribly unequipped to make a gasket and it still took forever <laughs> it took me 15 minutes to make a gasket yeah cut sure. it out trying to tap it to get the right size all that stuff you could buy a gasket for five bucks at the store if they've got it if they've got it worth every penny yes keep that in mind i do i only make gaskets if i if there's no other alternative yeah no. okay let's turn the gas on holy cow we ready to go i think so Woo, doggies keys on Choke it. Still choke. What the little rich? There we go. We'll put out a little smoke too. I might put a little dash of sea foam in it. 
sea foam. Man, you love that stuff. So smoky. Why does it sound rich? Oh, the choke is a throttle all the way up. You sure that's adjusted right? I did not know. So maybe it's sticking. It's sticking. Well, that is smooth running though. Yeah, it's sticking. I gotta lubricate that. Lucky I figured that out for you. Alright, that's enough of this old lawnmower. We got her running. Put some air in the tires and mow your yard. Yeah. Oh, BB Blast. It's the answer to everything. Sounds good. I don't like all that smoke, though. Getting too much gas, maybe? Maybe it's just over full on oil. Wow. That ain't good. No, it ain't. This little cream puff is uh He's got rings. stuck rings or something. It's got stuck rings. Well, I know of a couple ways to fix that. It involves a lot of PV blaster. <laughs> <laughs> you could also just run it. Maybe they'll free up. Well, you got nothing to lose. No, I mean it still runs. And running. If I Yeah, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. This thing looks like brand new. It's a Problem is, it's, with all that crank pressure, it is going to push oil probably into the intake, right? Yeah, it'll start gumming up everything. It'll screw everything up. It will. Well, I'll tell you what. Does it seem like there was a little water in that oil? I've seen them stick motors. Fixing it means... That spraying, oil looks like brand new. Spraying PB Blast down there and crossing the fingers for at least an hour. Oh, it really ain't smoking anymore. Now what? Seat sweet safety switch or something. Yeah, something goofy going on. Okay, disable the safety seat. No one's bad looking. No one can fall off the wall. He doesn't look too big on it or nothing, does he? <laughs> oh, it's moving. Wow, look how fast it goes. <laughs> All right, little dude. He's going downtown with it. What is he doing? I know. He's too big for that. He is too big. Look how big he is. Let's see if he's going to go straight up the hill. The goat. The billy goat. Make him anymore. Wow. He's so excited he's watching, he's gonna wax it. Well, it's not blowing smoke anymore. You're a hero, Connor. Ta da! All right, good news. Yeah. Sure, he beats pushing this yard. Wonder why they quit making them. Goes on side hills, turns out a dime. It's got a flat tire already. We kind of saw that coming. Get on the interwebs and order up some tires. It runs awesome, lots of power. Get the tractor tires for the back, like I told you. Don't need them. Yeah, it'll go down the hill and up the hill. That's a good point. Update on the motor, looks like it's gonna run after all. So that's good news for Connor. It's a win. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you on the next one.